Let's move on to Badunga Dunks, Flory Badunga, uh, the latest in the line of players who opted to go to Kansas and not Michigan that are extremely talented centers. Never heard that one before. That's crazy. Uh, this recruitment sounded like an all-timer Hall of Fame, Mount Rushmore. Remember that recruitment recruitment? Uh, he was rumored to be an Auburn Tiger. He was like, done deal. That's what all the insiders had. Bruce Pearl swooped in, dropped the bag. That was the report. And uh, maybe it wasn't spelled out explicitly like that, but that you can read between the lines, right? You don't want to recruit against Bruce Pearl, oh, NIL, whatever. Here you go. He's going to Auburn. Not so fast, my friend. Bill Self showed up and said, I'm Bill MF and Self. And now Flory Badunga, the best center in the country, is going to Kansas. We've talked about Badunga's game a little bit in the past, but uh, what do you make of how he ended up at Kansas more than anything? Yeah, I think for me, just from a, just from a recruitment, I guess, uh, whatever story you want to call it specifically, for me, and this might be like simple-minded or childish, call it whatever you want. I enjoyed this recruitment because no one really knew what was going to like, it kind of came out of nowhere. I feel like since we've been in this space because of like people that we've been able to get connected to and know, or just like even people you can follow on Twitter, you know, with the Trillies of the world and the Slaters of the world, you really don't, you're really able to know where a kid's going. Like it's, it's, there's no excitement in recruiting anymore, to be honest with you. Like, you know, where a kid is going usually before he commits, and this kind of just felt like, you know, everyone was like, oh, Auburn is. And everyone thought it was Duke for sure. Then Auburn came in at the end. And then Bill Self comes in and just says, just like you said, I'm Bill MF and Self. I enjoyed the actual just recruiting saga that went on with Flory. And I'm a big fan of his game as a player, physically imposing. He's one of those guys who I think is still learning the game of basketball, too. But obviously the tools are there. I think he'll have, you know, obviously one of the best coaches in all of college basketball history. Uh, helping develop and teach him the game, which is going to do nothing but help him. Um, it's just another tip in Kansas's hat. I feel like Kansas has just been on a run lately where they can't miss, and it continues on the recruiting trail. Yeah, Kansas is Kansasing again. That's how I feel. Um, Badunga's great. I just want to say that. Like I, I've always liked Badunga. I had to be peripherally interested in his game because Michigan kept making his final lists over and over again, even though I knew there was a 0% chance. He was going to end up at Michigan. We said that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think Bedunga will be really, really good in his one year at Kansas. And I don't think there's any chance he will be there longer than a year. I know there's a big string of like great big men staying in college longer than they should. Bedunga is an NBA center to me. He's like shot blocking extraordinaire. There's all these clips of him just catching blocks, which is one of the coolest things I've seen like a player do consistently at that level ever. It's not like one highlight where he caught a block. Like he does this a lot where he just doesn't swat the ball out of bounds. He catches it. And that's insane. It takes a ridiculous level of hand-eye coordination and athleticism and brains to be able to do that. Um, he also is a physical just monster. Like the, he he can assert his will on the offensive rebounds. He can rise up. He can dunk on your head through contact. I think he's going to be fantastic. I don't think there's a better coach in the country for him with with a repertoire of big men, a resume of big men than Bill Self. So uh, I think this was the right decision. First of all, Flory's going to be fantastic while he's there. You said you enjoyed this recruitment. You know who didn't enjoy this recruitment? Me. I did not enjoy this recruitment because it started with everybody saying, oh, he's going to go to Duke, hashtag the brotherhood. That's great. He's going to Duke. But, oh, by the way, Michigan's in his final four. And then, oh, no, Auburn, Bruce Pearl, they swooped in. Money, got him. Ha ha. But, oh, by the way, Michigan's still in the final four. They're on the graphic. Tipton made the graphic. Oh, by the way, though, there's 10 seconds until he commits. Sounds like he's going to Kansas. Thanks, Jeff Goodman. Oh, by the way, Michigan's still on the list, though. Nobody ever said there was a chance he goes to Michigan, Cart. Because you know why? Michigan doesn't get kids like this, Cart. They don't. Like, why Why are we still trying to get kids like this? That we know it comes down to who's writing the biggest check. There's, Michigan's there's a, not writing the biggest check, Cart. They're not doing that. Gregory, there's a, there's, is, there's a perfect reason when we knew he wasn't going there. When he took the picture in the football jersey with Jawan on his official visit and was doing the spinning the ball and the warming his hands thing with Jawan Howard, that's when he knew he wasn't going there. Right, but like, I just, you know who didn't know that he wasn't going there, Cart? Michigan insiders, who as of seven days ago were writing paywalled articles telling people the coaching staff feels really good about this one. Oh, hey, did you hear? 
Like, oh, all the buzz is Duke, and now it's Auburn, and now it's Kansas. Nobody nationally, nobody anywhere says Michigan has a shot in this. But, oh, by the way, Wolverine, subscribe, twelve ninety nine a month. We hear he likes Michigan. Like, come the F on, you guys. How naive do you have to be? There was no chance Michigan was ever going to stick in this recruitment. And I get that I can say that because it didn't happen. But I feel like I'm, like, the only Michigan fan on earth that can see the program for what it really is right now. It's driving me insane, Carter. It's not driving me insane. I know it's not. Yikes. Let's move on. Illinois. uh, you You know how I always say, I'm like, yeah, I love when both our teams are good because it's good for the conference. That's true. But this is this is kind of fun, too. I enjoy this just a little. I've been filing some paperwork to see if I can get Michigan enrolled into the new Pac-4 conference. Um, I, TBD, more, more to come there, but I'm working on it. 